Hey YouTube, this is a video explaining cool tips and tricks on Mac OS X Leopard. Uh, first of all, if you would like to see an application in Finder, go to one of the dock, uh, hold down Command, and click it. It'll go right to it in Finder, as you can see here. If you want to see iPhoto in uh, Finder, I just click Command and click it. It appears right in Finder. If I have uh, many applications open open at once, as you can see here, I can switch between them easily by holding down Command Tab. A bar like this will come up across the screen. If I continue to click Tab, it'll switch between the applications that are highlighted. If, let's say I wanted to switch to System Preferences. I would highlight System Preferences and let go of the keys that I'm holding, and it'll switch. Uh, I can tr I'll show you switching in between different applications that are up like this. It's actually pretty cool. To hide all of the applications um, besides the one that you're using right now, you can hold down Command and Option and click on the application that you don't want to hide. So if I wanted to just have iTunes up, I'd do that. If I just wanted Safari, I'd click that. And now it's the only one up. All of the other applications are hidden. Uh, and I can just bring them back up by clicking on them, uh, which is actually very convenient. To take a picture of the entire screen, a screenshot, uh, you can hold down Command, Shift, and 3. Uh, it'll take a picture of the screen, and if you go into Finder and you click All Images, then uh, it'll be the first result. To take a picture of a specific window, what you can do is uh, hold down Command, Shift, and 4. Sorry, hold down Command, Command Shift, and 4. Um, and then click spacebar and you can select the window that you just want to take the shot of so let's say I just wanted to take a picture of system preferences I would go ahead and click that and then if I go to all images it's there it's just the window which is convenient I know I know it's always a pain to have to uh, open this uh, little widget dock every single time you wanna um, remove a widget because that creates the X's on the widgets. What you can do um, instead of this is go over a widget, hold Option, and it'll just have the X over that widget as you can see. So you can X out specific widgets at a time. In order to zoom, if you're on a Mac laptop, um, into your computer, uh, like I've been doing in these videos, um, you would hold down, depending on what it says in System Preferences, I believe the default is uh, Control. Um, you hold down the button that allows you to zoom, and you use your two fingers, pointer and middle, and you slide them forward together in the middle of the screen, I mean the uh, trackpad. Um, you can zoom in and then move around with your mouse, and zoom out by uh, pulling back on the trackpad, uh, sliding your fingers towards you. In order to open front row without having to find it in the uh, finder, um, you would hold down command option, I mean command and escape. Um, and this will take you right to front row. Like this. If you have an application that's not responding and you'd like to force quit, you can hold down command option and escape and it'll uh, simply say for it will have the uh, force quit menu up and you can click which uh, application you want to force quit and uh, it'll just do it for you which is nice I'm sure many Mac users know about this but uh, expose is a very uh, helpful tool in organization um, it's an application that can be found under uh, expose and spaces on system preferences um, where if you drag your mouse into different corners it'll perform certain uh, actions uh, there are many to choose from I chose to uh, make my left corner all windows which means it shows all windows so it's you can see which windows you have up uh, this is desktop it clears all of your windows off of the desktop so that you can see the clean desktop uh, this is spaces it just activates spaces so you can see uh, where each of your uh, windows are and uh, I put my uh, bottom right corner as dashboard. Um, also a cool tool is Spaces. I'm sure many of you know about that. If you click on Spaces and click Enable Spaces, um, you can have them. You can increase the number of rows and columns. Each space is a clean desktop. Um, you know, so if you want a clear desktop, if you have a bunch of windows like here, 
and you just want a clean desktop to work with, you can go to a different space and you can set the keyboard shortcuts that correspond with different spaces um, in your uh, desktop. If you want to move windows between spaces, you go into spaces and you can just simply drag the windows. It's as easy as that. Another useful tool is scrolling. I know that it's uh, sometimes tedious and uh, it feels you know, dumb to go over to the toolbar and scroll down, scroll up, go back to where you're clicking. What you can do that's easier um, is use uh, your pointer and middle fingers and uh, stick them on the trackpad on the very right hand side um, and pull them down or up and as you can see that's all I'm doing and it's uh, it's scrolling so it's the same thing the same motion as zoom except you do it in the right hand side of the trackpad not in the middle um, because it, it won't work as well actually you can do it on either side um, it, for it to work the best if you have a uh, trouble seeing your screen especially if you have a MacBook because the screens aren't, aren't very big uh, and you're on an application you can hold down command and plus to make the font bigger like this I know this is pretty big um, or command minus if you want to make the font smaller so this is the smallest that you can have on this page and uh, this is the biggest if there you can see there's a big difference I also wanted to throw in a few cool applications um, this application called um, Le Tour de Screen is um, a tracker of how far you've uh, traveled in miles with your trackpad on your mouse so every time you move it a few inches it adds to that so right now I've gone about 3.1 miles on my trackpad since I've added the application it's it's pretty cool um, also a few uh, interesting widgets um, there's uh, 4D Dock Master which uh, you can control if your dock is 2D or 3D for example if I click 3D then my dock will reload and it will be 3D uh, the uh, leopard style, I, I like it tiger style even though this is leopard but I'll, sw I'll switch it back uh, another ex another cool widget is uh, it's called uh, Crash Drive 3D which is a car racing one which I enjoy um, also there is uh, have a studio where you can uh, play piano basically on your Mac um, using the uh, keyboard keys as piano keys. It, has, it doesn't have the best setup, but it, it's interesting. Uh, for example, for example, I was using my keyboard to play a hundred years there. Um, there's a Mac Pinball and Motor Racer, which are both great. Um, pile up is an application that has that makes a trash pile. It's bigger if uh, your trash is bigger in your in your trash bin. Pig Latin translates everything you say into Pig Latin. So if I said hi YouTube and click the pig, it'll say "Ihe YouTube, yay," which is uh, Pig Latin. Uh, the periodic table is convenient because it helps you uh, if you're just on your computer doing chemistry homework and you need a quick reference without looking in your book at the periodic table. Uh, Ultimate Cube is interesting too. Uh, you can control a Rubik's Cube and uh, basically solve a virtual Rubik's Cube um, shifting the the sides like this. You can have it scrambled. You can also have you can also have a uh, a two side two um, square long Rubik's Cube up to a nine cube. So it's very versatile and it's very good. Uh, that's all for now on Mac uh, OS 10 tips and tricks. If uh, you need anything else or if you want me to do another video, uh, write this five stars and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.